you'll be able to see that I have some kind of funny looking accessories here and uh, the purpose of this video is to help you understand the difficulties in shooting with both eyes open and the objective is to of course demonstrate what you see with each eye individually and then show you what you see with both eyes opened as far as imagery. Now people have trained and they've learned how to ignore second imagery but this shows you what your brain sees with each eye and I demonstrated I can put a target up there on the window so that I hopefully this demonstration will show you what's going on and so let's begin what you see when you close one eye what you see with the opposing eye that you're not aiming with and then what you see with both eyes opened so I'm going to try and demo that okay I came outside because it's better contrast with the target and the sights are easier to see so that I can demonstrate and get through what I'm trying to say here. Uh, one thing with shooting with both eyes opened is imagery. So what do we see if we shoot with one eye closed? Is we see one nice clear sight picture. And you can see that, bring that right up there and you only see one image, you have good peripheral vision around it, but you don't have the advantage of having the other eye, but you still have nice acquisition, nice and clear. Now if you open an eye, what you do is you have this image with your shooting eye, and then you have an image over here with your non-shooting eye. So, you have one eye's image here, and one eye's image off to one side. So what does that mean when you open both eyes? Well, what it means is you end up with two images of your gun sight. You have one that you're aiming with, and then you have the other dots off to the side with the eye that you're not aiming with. You have double vision. So when somebody says, I'm going to ignore, I've learned to shoot, I only see one, they're saying that they've learned to ignore the image you see off to the right. Or if they're left eye, then here they are shooting and they're ignoring the image off the left. Now the image doesn't go away. If you've got both eyes open, you're going to see that image. And all you have to do to show this is to aim your weapon with both eyes open and then just close your shooting eye without moving your head or your position and you'll see the image jump over to the other side. So this is certainly provable to yourself. So what are the advantages to shooting with both eyes open? What's the problem? When you close one eye, you lose binocular vision. That gives you depth of perception. You lose peripheral vision, which is kind of obvious. You need to be able to see off the outside. But what isn't so obvious is you lose your eye. When you close your eye, the eye dilates. And the other eye dilates as well. So your shooting eye is taking in more light and messes up your sight picture. You don't want anything to interfere with your shooting eye. Now in defensive shooting, what happens is somebody comes up really fast. I'm going to show that with this one. And you see two pictures. And we have a natural tendency to be symmetrical. So what happens is you come up with a gun and you say, okay, which side am I going to use? Or you've been trained so well that you put it right in front of your dominant eye and you shoot. Or you put it right in front of your dominant eye and you shoot. But when you're in a panic, you don't look at your sights. You end up looking at the threat. So what happens is you come up and you've got two guns and we have a natural tendency. Now to show this, all you have to do is take a pencil. And it doesn't have to be a target. But if you take your pencil and you hold it up with one eye, you see one pencil, no problem at all. But if you hold both eyes open, the first thing you're going to see is this. And you're going to figure out, which one do I use? Okay? Well, the same thing is true when you pull up a gun. You see two guns. So think about this. You can do this yourself. Take a pencil, hold it up quickly, 
and then see how long it takes you to go over to the one that you're going to use. And this is where shooting with both eyes open and training is so important, is that you need to have a natural trained eye so that you pull up the right sight picture right off the bat. Because if you go symmetrical, you shoot over there and you shoot over there. If you go with the wrong one, you're still not going to be hitting right. So you need to have a proper sight picture. So let's go over that again. Here's one eye opened. And there's your sight picture. There's when you open up the other eye, you have the other sight picture. When you're shooting with both eyes open, you have double image. You need to sight that right down the line, and you need to practice and work with that. Now, there's only one exception to this, and I'll be demonstrating that in just a minute. So, there you go. That's what your brain sees. Or if you're shooting with your other eye, your brain sees this. And when somebody tells you they don't see it, what they're just saying is they've learned to ignore the second image because their brain still sees double images. So, in a moment, I'll show you something that's different. Okay. Now I have this set up. You have the options, as I showed you before, of seeing two sets of sights. Now you have another option. You can pull up your sight, and you can see that you have one sight picture there. And even though you have the image of the gun over there, you don't see the sights. If you pull up the gun in the middle, like the panic police officer, you don't see anything. So if you go over to this sight and you shoot, you shoot right on. If you go over to this sight and shoot, you shoot right on. You don't have the double image of your sight picture. So this is the Orlob Occluder sight. And if you think of bringing it up, the people that own these sites look and say they come up and it's faster. They drop it down, they come up, and it's faster. Because they're not looking at two sets of sights like this and come up and say, well, which do I use this one or do I point this one? Instead, they drop it down and you go from seeing double to seeing one image of sights. You can see how this works. The people that are giving me feedback, matter of fact, everybody that I know that has one, except I had one person say, well, he'd rather see double and see the two sights and ignore the other one because he was used to shooting that way. And uh, if you were trained and you're well trained and you know how to shoot that way, it's just as peculiar to not see two sights as it is to see two sights. So when you shoot, this is to make it easy for people to shoot with both eyes open. You can see the advantage. You drop your weapon down, you come up, and you see one set of sights. So, shooting with both eyes open, the occluder gun sight. Is it better? Hmm? Well, it just depends, but uh, things are proving that it is better. Thank you very much for your time.